Skywork is one such company which has been releasing models upon models in multimodality for the last one year or so but for some reason their models are flying under the radar i don't know why because the quality is improving and they are evolving a lot if you go to my channel and search with skyworks and you will find that they have released heaps of models in each and every modality and i have covered them all in this video i am going to cover yet another model from them which is called as unipic which is trying to do three tasks in one go which is image understanding image generation and also image editing at the basic level of course this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel if this is the first time you are visiting the channel please do me a favor like the video and subscribe to the channel that helps a lot really okay so now coming back to this unipic model as i said this is a unified auto regressive multimodal model with 1.5 billion parameters capable of handling three key vision language tasks within a single architecture image understanding text to image generation and image editing image understanding simply means you give it an image and it gives you a description of it this model was trained from scratch on a large scale multimodal corpus and it is designed to support a wide range of unified image text tasks efficiently now don't expect world class performance from it because look the size is just 1.5 billion right but if it can do a decent job with all these three tasks i think we are good to go so let me take you to my system where i'm running this ubuntu i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram don't be scared by this 80 gb vram card i was just using this vm which i spun up for another video so i just re reusing it here so first up i'm going to create a virtual environment with coda if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to the website of mast computer in video description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpu so please do check them out our virtual environment is created let me now get clone the repo of unipic and i will drop the link in videos description so please do check them out as that helps a lot again to to the project builders of course next let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent agent is world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and everything is installed next up we can launch our gradio demo so they have provided a lot of python scripts for image editing generation and stuff in their repo i have just combined it to one so let me run this and the first time when you run this it downloads some model the size is just over three gig okay so the model is running let's try it out on the bottom you see that we have three options generate image edit image image understanding let's do the image generation first which is selected and i am asking it to draw me something a dream made of glass and water let's wait for it takes a bit of a time i'm not sure if it is running on gpu or cpu but let's check it out so it is running on cpu no gpu involved at all good stuff okay let's wait for it and gpu consumption then eventually jumped to this over 18 gig of vram so doesn't run on cpu takes over 18 gig of vram but if you look at the uh, result it's not bad at all it's a dream made of glass and water it doesn't show the prompt anyway it's a very rudimentary chat but you see it's not ba bad at all it's a dream and glass you see everything looks really good the color composition structure i'm impressed maybe i will test the same image editing here i'll say i'll just ask it make the glass color pink let's see what it does and vram consumption stays at the same and there you go it has turned it into pink even the reflection in the water is quite good but rest of the image is as is and you see the droplets i think this is a very good model i have i must must say okay let's try out another one i'm going to go back to generate image 
and I am asking it golden retriever in a sunflower field at sunrise. Let's see what it does. And you can clear the history by just, you know, pressing on this clear history button. Oh, wow, this is so good. Look at this. <clears throat> you know what? It's not a bad at all. This is what I was saying that I don't know why, but this is really, um, you know, getting closer to the flux level quality, to be honest, or maybe when image is not far away, look at the golden retriever. Everything looks so, so good here. Okay, now let's try to understand the image and I'm just going to upload an image from my local system. I'll just go here in my images directory. Maybe let's try out an OCR one. I'm just going to go and give it maybe, I have a multi image where there are multiple languages. So sorry, I will just go to select this multi image. And then I'll just say, extract the text and identify the language. Now OCR is a very particular task and I don't think so every model can do that and you can see that it cannot do OCR here, that is fine. Maybe I will just go with another one. Uh, instead of this, we will just go and select something else. So I'm just going to check out this one and I'll just say, describe the image. Let's see if it can describe it. And these are all AI generated one. There you go. So it, I think it has captured the essence of the image that it shows a tranquil scene with a large lake in the foreground surrounded by lush greenery. In the background, there is a mountain. There is actually, if I go up a little, there you go. Mountain range with trees and all that stuff. This is real, real good stuff from this model. Okay, let's clear the history. Let's generate another image. And I'm just going to ask it to uh, draw me a human hand with six fingers. Now, the reason why I am giving it this test is because these text to image generator models are notoriously infamous for generating hands with the wrong number of fingers. And many model providers are now sort of, you know, hard coding this you know, number of fingers. So this is what I'm just testing. If it follows the instruction or if it just generates a hand with five fingers or just totally bungles it up. There you go. So it, no, it has done it. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay. That is good. I'll just say human feet because they're also not good at, you know, drawing the human feet. Let's check it out. I have just cleared the history. And there you go, the human feet test is not really good enough. Actually, this right foot is totally off in terms of number of fingers and the foot shape. Anyway, no problem. Okay, let's try out another one. I'm just asking it to create me a... Okay, sorry, not this one, generate image. Or maybe I'll... Uh, okay, so dragon curled around. Sorry, <clears throat> dragon curled around a crystal tower. So let's see how it goes. And there you go. It looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Let me make it a bit bigger if I can. No, it, it allow me to do it from here. Maybe I'll just try to open in the, another tab. Yep, there you go. Yep, much, much better. So the abstract images and abstract concept and ideas, I think it does very well. Okay, let's go back here. And finally, I'm just going to draw a human figure and I'm asking you to draw me a glamorous blonde bombshell holding a sign that says like the video, bright and eye catching style. Let's see how it goes. Okay, sorry. I don't know why it keeps moving to the other one. Let's try again. Let's wait for it. Oh, wow. What the heck is that? So you see text is totally off. And uh, I'm not sure if you can call it a bombshell or maybe you can. So, but anyway, I think human figures are not that good. Even the hands are totally off. Text is not its forte at all. And you can see that, you know, all the abstract ideas and that sort of thing, it does very, very well. But other than that, uh, I think in rest of the image generation task, it, uh, it's not good, 
good enough so anyway you now know which use cases you can use this model for and it does a wonderful job there let me know what do you think about this model and uh, i know that you already understand what she is saying so please listen to her and like the video subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support